Fun fact for a lot of you guys, I knew this going in, but maybe some of you won't be. This is actually based off a DC comic book. What's going on everyone? Welcome to a brand new movie review. Today I'm going to be discussing The Kitchen. This film stars Elizabeth Moss, Melissa McCarthy, Dom Hall Gleason, and of course Tiffany Haddish. And it's based off a DC Vertigo comic. Now DC Vertigo is one of the most unique kind of comic book companies out there, and especially inside the DC lore. And I actually hope that after this film, I hope this film is successful because I actually want to see more DC Vertigo properties tackled because they're actually really unique, really cool. And within this movie, I was looking forward to it. The cast involved here, while some people might have qualms with some of them, whether it's Tiffany Haddish or even Melissa McCarthy within the comedies they do, when it comes to dramatic stuff, I'm a big fan of them. Can you ever forgive me with Melissa McCarthy last year? Deserved all the Oscar nominations, and in fact, I could have put up a big argument that she deserved the Oscar of last year for Best Actress. And when you look at Tiffany Haddish, the film that really sold me on her being a dramatic actress is when I saw The Oath. She has a couple scenes in there, while it's more of a black and dark comedy, the thing about The Oath is she brings the dramatic force of that film and really is the main core to that whole family. And when it comes down to the kitchen, she brings that same tour de force that she carried within that film. And of course, you got Elizabeth Moss, and you damn right know she's going to give an excellent performance. Of course, the kitchen is about three wives who, after their mobster husbands have been sent to jail, they now have to support their families and support themselves by any means necessary. Of course, if you guys are new here, make sure to comment down below and let me know what your guys' thoughts are. Are you guys excited for this film? Did you guys know this was a comic book? Let's talk about it down below and of course a big shout out to all my patreons patreon supporters make sure to go check out them down below in the youtube some of them have youtube links you guys definitely want to check them out down there i can definitely say about the kitchens i overall really enjoyed this film i was pleasantly surprised by it i'm surprised the embargo is actually so late in the game maybe i'm in the minority but some of the people i talked to they actually quite all enjoyed it as well and then the kitchen when you have this cast though i didn't know what they were going to do i didn't really know much about the comic book as well and after seeing this movie i definitely want to read that comic book and see the differences and see what they could have added back in there because I'm just gonna get my straight cons and nitpicks right out of the way before I really dive into why I enjoyed this film so much because these cons are kind of the reasons that I take away and why I don't think this film was totally successful but I saw the potential for this film to be perfected I'm not even joking there were only a couple qualms I had with it where if they would have tinkered these just a little bit you could have totally made this movie something honestly unique because in general while this is a crime drama it's more of a surface level crime drama compared to, of course, Goodfellas and Casino. No, it's weird comparing a crime drama that stars Tiffany Haddish, Elizabeth Moss, and Melissa McCarthy to, say, Goodfellas or Casino, because those are, like, the higher excellence of being, like, the best crime dramas ever. But when it comes down to the kitchen, you still kind of got to expect, you got to go in and hope that every film can be great. And this, I think the film had the potential to be perfect. And within those nitpicks, I think one of the things is this film was way too short. Hour and 42 minutes, one, this film flew by, and I felt like there was at least 30 to 40 minutes probably missing in there. Within that pacing moving fast, which is not a bad thing by any means, I think it took away some elements. There were certain character choices, certain decisions, certain twists that happened in here that really, with this flick of your fingers, just happened. Just popped up happen without any sort of like emotion or even build up to it and I was kind of like okay that's where we're going it felt like if this was say a longer movie you could have focused on certain elements that would have built up to that point better or in a sense if this would have been a mini series on say Netflix HBO or even Hulu you could have gotten the same cast involved and done a 10 episode arc that really dived into the construction of what happens to each and every one of these characters and their arcs kind of go a little bit surface level with all of them besides the most McCarthy, who her character is really the only really big fleshed out one, but when it goes to Tiffany Haddish, she explains some stuff here, but then really kind of just dives in, doesn't really explain anything for her, what her motivations could be down the road. It goes for Elizabeth Moss, there was really not a lot for her to do in here, even though she was great with what she was given, I thought there was more substance that you could have given to all this roundabout cast, and in general, the whole film that wouldn't have made this film feel like a surface level movie. Besides my qualms, I still really enjoyed the movie. For a surface level crime drama, I we haven't got one crime drama this year now when the irishman comes out whoa that 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 might be something that kind of fills my potential for what I need when it comes to these types of movies. But a gangster flick in the drama kind of crime world, I'm all for it with The Kitchen. And one of the things I must talk about is the performances in here. I kind of hinted at it earlier on, but Melissa McCarthy is great in here. I love when she doesn't do these slapstick comedies, when she dives in and does these. Because there are comedic moments in this film that definitely aren't like ha 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 laugh out loud moments. But they're very much kind of just things you would see in normal gangster films. And I 
felt that in here. And Melissa McCarthy is great. The emotion she brings to this film is great. Tiffany Haddish as well is excellent. And I hope to see more of these actresses actually doing stuff like this. And even speaking about Elizabeth Moss, even though they didn't give her the most roundabout stuff to do with her whole character, other than just being a wife who was abused, there is a lot of subtlety that she does within her facial expressions that really flesh out this character to more than what I could even imagine. And Elizabeth Moss is just one of the best actresses working today and again with this out rounded out cast their chemistry their relationships that they have with one another are really the main engaging part of the whole film and really one of the big strong focuses of the movie without them this film would not have worked to it where it was and I always say this kind of surface level material can always be elevated by the performances and I think the kitchen definitely was super elevated by these performances. Paul well, Gleason's also in here and he is great at everything he's in and he brings a lot of layered stuff to him as well even though while it's subtle and he kind of seems one dimensional at times it still was nice. Alright you guys my final thoughts on this movie make sure to hit that like and subscribe where I do tons of early movie reviews geeky content on a daily basis over on this channel plus if you guys want to check out films early like the kitchen or other other ones coming up soon make sure to go check out sandwich on films down below because right down there we get out advanced movie screens all the time for all the kitchen was an entertaining time i know it kind of seemed like i went on a little bit of a rant with my nitpicks but i just felt like this film had so much more potential to it but while still it having that potential the twists and the turns were kind of fun the crime surface level drama with inside here was fun and the performances in here were fantastic the direction was strong and while the script isn't the best i felt like there was a lot missing out and maybe there's some behind the scenes stuff that I didn't know about it maybe this was planned to be a mini series I think there was a lot of potential to be had in here with kind of an abrupt ending that kind of just ends all of a sudden I overall still enjoyed the kitchen I would still recommend this movie I think if you're wanting that crime drama appetite to be fulfilled you would definitely find it within this film within great performances and overall the kitchen I'm gonna have to give it a B minus you know where your guys' thoughts are on the kitchen. Are you excited about it? Are you not? Let's talk about it down below in the comments. I'm really curious to hear your guys' thoughts on this one because I don't know if I'm in the minority on this. Maybe I, maybe you guys felt like this was a perfect film. I'm so happy if you did. Guys, thank you guys so much for watching this. You guys are seriously all the best. Make sure to go check out my Patreon. Hit that like and subscribe button if you guys are new here. Check out Sandwich on Films and make sure to go follow me on all my social media so we can talk more geeky content over there. Thank you guys again so much for watching this and until next time, stay classy.